It actually tastes kind of like egg salad. Are we trying chicken today? No. But we went to KFC, Chick-fil-A, and Church's Chicken. Aren't those chicken places? They are chicken places. Oh. Well, what are we trying? Mac and cheese. Ooh. Yeah, so much for that New Year's resolution. We tried. Not really. Well, my name's Ray. I'm Tara. We are The Foodie 2. We do food reviews and reactions, so consider subscribing if you're not already. And now, let's do this. Before we start, have you ever tried fast food mac and cheese? Let us know in the comments below. So this will be another four part series where we do three videos of taste testing various contenders and then one video with the final three best options to determine the best fast food mac and cheese. Mm, I can't wait, like, I'm actually really looking forward to this one. Yep, round one, here we go. Mac and cheese is delicious. It is also one of my favorite foods along with queso. Mac and cheese is definitely Almost at the top of my list. And it's one of those yummy, warm, gooey, creamy, cheesy comfort foods. And the best part is you can put all these different things into it, not just the macaroni and the cheese, although those are a very important part of it. You can put chicken in there. Bacon. You know, just put everything in there. You'll be fine. This is gonna surprise everyone, but I prefer you just leave my mac and cheese alone. Don't add anything, unless it's cheese. So what are we starting with? This is Church's Chicken. I did not know that Church's had mac and cheese. They do. It doesn't look the most appealing. It's kind of like one solid blob. It's all together. Did anyone ever tell you not to play with your food? I'm not playing. I'm preparing. Hmm. All right, well, it doesn't look too bad after you stir it. Bad. Tastes kind of like I would expect from a fast food restaurant that isn't anything spectacular. Yeah, it's okay. It's just the pasta is already very soft, so it's clearly overdone just a bit. And then the cheese is just kind of there. It's not standing out in any particular way. It's nothing special, as you said, so yeah, it's okay. Yeah. All right, KFC kind of has the color of egg salad. You're right. It looks just like egg salad. Hopefully it doesn't taste like it. The cheese is very fluffy. Like it's been whipped. It actually tastes kind of like egg salad. It's just, it's, I like it less. <laughs> I actually like churches more. This isn't really all that good for mac and cheese. I thought I remembered KFC having a really good mac and cheese. Mm. But either I remember incorrectly or they've gone downhill. It's not really a cheesy flavor. No, it's like cheese mix that they used. It's kind of like if you make Kraft mac and cheese at home and you add the milk or water to the cheese powder and then you mix it up and all that and then you put it in there. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. I think Kraft is better. Well, Kraft is a lot better because you can mix your own ingredients in it. I like it just how it is. Eh. And finally, Chick-fil-A. Hmm. I think this one looks the most appealing. Got a few stragglers. This one definitely has real cheese. You can even see it. I feel like the pasta is a little firmer. It's pretty creamy. The pasta wasn't overdone at all on this, and you're right, there is actually real cheese in there. Have you ever noticed that we unintentionally always save the best for last? Is it unintentional though? In a lot of cases, we haven't already tried some of the things that we try though, so in any event, I do think that this is the best one that we have. The pasta is good, the cheese is good, there's no weird glowing to it, like, you know, it didn't come from Jersey. So overall, not bad, especially for fast food restaurants. Church's chicken, I would probably give a three. It was kind of 
middle of the road. Church's chicken. I'm gonna give them a three as well. It's just, it's not super special. It's just a little bit more special than KFC. Speaking of KFC, I'm gonna go with a 1.5. Really wasn't a fan of that one. Hmm, two. I'm just not convinced that it wasn't egg salad. Who knows? And finally, Chick-fil-A, which was the best. I'll give a four. I will also give them a four. I think Chick-fil-A is the best. Have you tried any of these mac and cheeses? Let us know what you think. Also be sure to check out our blog. We'll leave a link in the description. And don't forget to smash that like button. If you like this video, hit subscribe because we're not going anywhere. And until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.